Hey, okay, so I'm back and I'm doing day one because like I accidentally deleted it. I remember I did it in the car the day we did that transport last week with the cat. But I guess I deleted it, so that sucks. It's not going to be authentic answers, but I kind of remember what I said. Um, I believe, I don't know, or, or, or I didn't, I don't know. Oh yeah, now I remember it was day two on here. I need to like get this in better order. A song that's a classic fave. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> um, but I think I said something about, it's a classic and it's one of my faves. I think I said something about Pink Floyd, but I don't remember what. Um, I, I don't remember. But okay, what I was grateful for that day, it was cute because Josh came and he grabbed the card and he was putting gas in the car and I was like oh, I'm thankful for my husband who puts the gas in my car <laughs> and then I believe it was 10 things in my purse and I was like that's easy I don't carry a purse <laughs> so that was really quick I don't know where it went I, I guess I deleted it oops <sighs> we're only human after all <laughs> okay hey everyone so it's me it is Sunday and I'm gonna do the questions and the gratitude of the day. So, um, let's see. A song you would sing in a duet for karaoke. Hmm. I mean, first one my mind goes to. <laughs> I got you, babe. That would be a good one. It's classic, right? He's trying to figure out how he can get into the sink. Um, I got some green chili stew in the crock pot and he's not sure where the smell is coming from. He just knows he wants it. Let's see. Um, what I am grateful for today. Um, uh, today is, I don't know, today's a weird day. I feel very exhausted, uh, very tired. I know some of it is due to over socializing yesterday um and then driving in the wind it was like a gust of 80 miles per hour and a lot of construction so it's like just having to drive and really hold on to the wheel and really focus on that kind of exhausted me a little bit today yesterday I was fine and then my body was letting, so my body letting me know things because my body is letting me know that I'm not doing enough and I'm not drinking enough water because I haven't had a, woke up with leg cramps in a really long time and last night after all that I did. So my body is like telling me, hey, you need to drink more water and you need to move more and you need to start eating your fruits and your nuts every day because you've been slacking lady so yeah I've been drinking way too much soda I don't know I'm just in one of those moods where water is kind of blah to me so um, I have to make it exciting again somehow I don't know how I can't add those flavor packets anymore because that is also part of what's getting to me is the sweetener they use in a lot of sugar free <laughs> stuff low calorie stuff the sweetener really gets to me um, so you know I'm grateful for my body telling me hey get it together lady um, let's see um, <laughs> the most important thing to do today rest that's what I've been doing all day and I, I see my inboxes and they're like bing 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 and it's giving me anxiety <laughs> but I just don't have it in me to reply and read stuff and if I read stuff I have to reply so there we go um and you know obviously feed the dogs feed the mom all that good stuff um, that's the most important things I have to do today. So that is today, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. See you tomorrow. Hey, it's me. So, yeah, here we are. Um, I'm on what song? A 
song from the year I was born. Okay, 1980. <laughs> um, I there was a lot of good music that year, man. Michael Jackson, and then there was uh, Blondie, Call Me, and uh, I think Don't Stand Too Close to Me or something was number one when I was born. February 29th. Um, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So, yeah. Kenny Rogers, Lady. That's a really good song. Kenny Rogers was the bomb. So, there you go. <clears throat> Let's see. What I am grateful for. I don't know. Today's a hard one. Um, not in a good headspace. I don't know it's supposed to rain Friday I guess no I can't do future things because usually when it says it's gonna rain it doesn't so I miss rain um I know all you people up in like Ohio and Iowa or not Iowa Indiana and stuff are like oh you can have our rain and I will gladly take it um let's see I'm gonna think about that one while I answer the next question. <laughs> uh, if you could have any celeb celebrity chef cook for you, who would it be? Right now, the way I'm feeling, Guy Fieri. <laughs> because his food looks like it would make me feel better. Obviously, I use food for my feelings. And his food looks like he could get it could get me out of some feelings so not like that chicken stuff I don't really like chicken tenders too much I'll eat them but they're not my favorite um but like the stuff at his other restaurants like and then and like the garbage can nachos and those loaded mac and cheeses that he has at those restaurants not the, the stuff that not the stuff that he has in Walmart, the TV dinners. No, no, no. Um, when you had that burger place, the ghost kitchen for a while, the, that mac and cheese looked real good. Um, I don't know if it was, but it looked really good. Right now, I could really go for some mac and cheese. Um, yeah. So, Guy Fieri. <laughs> what I am grateful for... <clears throat> Um, I'm just gonna say fiber optic internet right now, so, um, yeah, there we go, because super fast uploads on my videos, it's $100 a month, but it's worth it, you know, well, it's like 87, because we have two speeds in this town, we have Jurassic and fiber optic, for a long time I had the Jurassic, because the fiber optic wasn't available in the city, in, in town. Like, it was only available on the boulevards, like where all the businesses are. And then finally, um, probably about four or five years ago, I think it was about four, no, five. It was before I got together with Josh, so about five. Um, they started moving it to residentials. So, yeah, I am grateful for that. I am grateful that I'm not on Jurassic speed anymore. I'm literally talking like two gigabytes, whatever it is. Put it this way. Netflix would lag. It would take me about six hours to upload a video. Uh, for people who've been on my channel for a while, you know, when I kind of went black. <laughs> when I stopped posting after I moved here, that was part of the reason. Because like, when I first moved here, not to this house. When I first moved to Tucum Carry, I lived in a hotel, motel with a kitchen, sink, stove, refrigerator combo. And the internet there was so horrible. Um, and then I moved into this place that my ex's parents owned and they didn't, it was empty for so long that it didn't even have internet connections. Like, that thing is bugging me, but whatever. There. 
Um, it didn't even have a way to hook up to the internet. It didn't even have a, a phone line. Like, modern phone lines. It had those old school phone jacks. And, you know, like, we got these younger people watching, like, what are what is a phone jack? But, yeah, like, it had old school phone jacks from, like, probably the 70s or 60s or something. Like, yeah. Not the new one. Not the newer ones. So, they had to, like, do the lines over in that house. And then, finally, I had internet. But it would take me, like, six hours to upload a five-minute video. It's a very dark time in my life. Um, and then I moved here, and same thing with the internet. It was really super slow. Um, it took me forever to upload videos, and I'm playing with a, a pill package. Um, that's what that noise is in the background. So yeah. And then finally, I got fiber, and I was like, ah. Oh. I can watch a movie. <laughs> I can upload YouTube videos. Yay. So. Yeah. It was right around the time. <clears throat> that. Hatter and I got together. Anyways. I gotta like do that separation thing in my mind right now. Um, kind of like how my ex used to be Paul, 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 Paul. And then I started calling him Pablo when I just, yeah, because it's not the same person. So I don't, they don't deserve the same name. Anyways, and I, everybody calls him Hatter and I never did. I called him Josh. So now he is Hatter forevermore, probably. Anyways, but I won't talk about this here. <laughs> um, I'll say that for Friday's vlog if I feel like talking about it, I guess. We'll see how Friday is. Okay. So, yeah, internet. That's what I'm... Fiber optic internet. That is what I am grateful for today. Yes, I do pay for it, but, you know. Hey, 50 bucks for Jurassic Speed compared to, not, uh, like, 80... I don't know. I think it's 93 with tax for the super fast internet. It's... It's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Um, so, yeah. Mm, that's it. Later. Hey, everyone. It's me. So, okay. I shouldn't do that every time I do one of these. It's just a habit. We are on a song that makes you think about life. Um, God, there's so many. Graffiti the World by Rehab. I suggest... You Google that or you type that in YouTube and you listen to that song. It is an amazing song. Danny Boone is an amazing genius man. <sighs> Rehab really is. like, And they have music in all sorts of genres. I mean, it's really Danny Boone, but you know, there's guest stars sometimes. Uh, what I am grateful for today, different perspectives and friends that I haven't talked to in a long time. So, uh, I, I talked about that in my members only and I, it's been a few days. I've been in a place again and I have to do a bunch of these <laughs> again. So, uh, oh. An area to improve self-discipline for you. My reactions. Like the way I react to things. Um, I have to learn more patience. I really do. And I, I've come a long way. But I still have a long way to go. Okay. Now we're going to go. A song that has many meanings to you. Um. Gosh. That's a hard one. <laughs> I I love lots of songs and lots of songs have meaning to me. Um I I don't know. I don't want to sit here forever and be like, oh uh, uh, <laughs> like lots of songs. Great Defeaty the World has a lot of meanings to me, but <laughs> I can't do the same song twice in a row. Uh I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like a lot of I 
I really, you know, I'm gonna, this is gonna, gonna kind of be a cop out, but semi charm kind of life. I never knew what that was about for years and years and years and years and years and years. So I guess that has many meanings. I'm really naive. I grew up kind of sheltered in a way. Um, I didn't know what Tori Amos' songs were about for years. Years. And then when I found out, I was like, oh, no, not her, mosquitoes. Anyways, um, yeah, we have mosquitoes here already. <laughs> uh, in the early morning and they came through the doggy door with the dogs. <laughs> I need to get my lemongrass plants out there. Well, they died, so I have to get new ones. But I have to get them back out there now. Um, and I have to start burning the Scentsy Burner with citronella oil overnight like I used to. I used to have a bug zapper, but it broke. It fell. Um, I used to have it above the doggy door. But yeah, um, very naive. Didn't know what a lot of songs were talking about until later, 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 later. You know, and there's actually some songs that I didn't know what they were talking about. Like Milkshakes. Milkshake. I did not know what she was talking to about until last year. I think Elsa remembers when I posted that. I was like, all this time I never knew what she was talking about when she was talking about milkshakes. I, was like, I think Elsa may, may have commented on that post on my Facebook. Um, you can always see my brain struggling because I want to pronounce your name the way I would pronounce it. Like, not the way it's supposed to be pronounced. And, like, you can see it in my eyes, I bet. Like, whenever I say your name. I, I want to say it the other way. And I know it's not pronounced that way. My brain's like, no, stop. Say it right. Anyways. Uh, what is your ideal day? Okay, right now my ideal day would be you know to oh pip's waking up i'm gonna pause this in a minute and then i'm gonna come back and do the rest of the questions so um my ideal day would be no housework mom would have a caregiver in the morning <laughs> all day no she would have a caregiver in the morning and the d rest of the day too like maybe two caregiver caregivers one for the morning one for the evening um I really miss Josh's cooking and when he was able to cook um I, I know that's something he really can't do anymore um sometimes he can but not the way he used to so I know that's like not gonna happen, but I would love for him to cook for me. Like maybe grill some steak and cook some smashed potatoes and some bacon wrapped asparagus with his hollandaise sauce. God, he used to be such a good cook. And then we'd go fishing. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Are you doing okay? Come here. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, one more question. I changed my clothes into something I could clean in better. Since I'm up, I'm going to utilize it. Got some water. Um, let's move the boxes. If you know, you know. <laughs> Watered the plants. And I just remembered... There is another life I'm responsible for because I also have an aloe plant. So Josh took most of his plants over to the new place, but there's an aloe plant that he had a bunch of them. So I, I kept one and then the flowers he got me. Um, okay. So a song you like with a name in it. Okay. This is going to sound stupid, but I really like the song by Tori Amos called Angie, and I know it's originally done by the Rolling Stone. I like Tori Amos' version better. I know, I know, but I really like Tori Amos' version better, and it's my sister's name. My sister's name is Angie. I know we don't talk, and it's a really strained relationship. Um, 
but I've always liked that song since the first time I heard it. I think it was like 15 or 16. It's just a really good soul and a song. It's in my head right now. It's playing with no money in our girls <laughs> and no loving in our souls. They say we're satisfied. Tori Amos' version is really amazing and I would suggest giving it a listen. Um, her voice just does something to the depth of the song and yeah. Okay, what I'm grateful for today, which I know is still the same day, and then I'm going to put this together and post it and then redo my question list for next week. Hello, Mr. Pip. Hello, Mr. Pip. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I was trying to do it like this, but he never responded to it. So I started doing it like this, which is good boy upside down. And he's like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. So it's, it's a learning process. Um, okay. So what I'm grateful for today is learning how to speak to Pip. <laughs> I've got Pip sprinkles everywhere right now. He is rubbing himself all over me with that white husky hair. Um, if you know how much huskies shed, you understand this is how much he sheds. He has a undercoat that he's losing. He's mostly lost it. I've brushed it out. He's mostly shedded, shed his winter coat. He is ready for spring, which we don't have here. Um, he doesn't have long hair like a husky, but he has hair, a coat like a husky. It's so crazy that he is only like 3% it's 3%, not 2%. 3% husky, but it is really his most dominant personality trait. His tail is curly and his coat is very much husky. I've had huskies before, so I know. Um like not me personally, my mom had huskies. Anyway, she it's her favorite kind of dog. Um so what are your three priorities right now? Um, either getting tr Pip trained better and all the dogs trained better to where, yes, I know that finger is ouchy. Anyways, he's, he's licking my fingernail cause it's, I'm going to lose it soon. It, it just, some stuff happened and the finger is like it's healed, but the fingernail is, yeah. Try not to lose it, but I think it's happening. He, you want to smell it some more? He thinks he can fix things. But to get the dogs trained is, what, like, honestly, one of my most top priorities. Like, and when I say trained, like, you all know my dogs are pretty well behaved, except for that one. And even he's, do, he's doing okay, but it's just a, it's a learning curve with him being deaf. And then, like... Not knowing what signs are going to work for him. So, and like, then also, he's very stubborn and bullheaded, which is a husky trait. So, like, you know, sometimes he knows what he's supposed to, like, he knows he's not supposed to be sniffing the kitchen table right now. But he wants to. And because my face isn't at him, and I can't say any, hey, yeah, I can't say anything to get his attention. And he thinks I'm not looking at him even though I am. He's over there. There's nothing on the kitchen table. But I see you. You know, he's looking the other way like, no, you don't. I, I can't see you. You can't see me. So, yeah, that is one of my biggest priorities is training, trying to get them to get along. Um, that one's going to require another person of sound mind. Um... I, I, I'm going to text the dog trainer and see if maybe she can't help me once summer comes because she is a school teacher and she drives, she does a pretty long commute. So I'm going to see if maybe she can't help me once school is done with. Um, cause I do need another person who is like a set of sound mind to help me with some of that. Like I gotta, somebody has to be with Penny in the middle like I could sit in a chair with Penny 
and then somebody else has to take Lola because she's my least reactive dog you know and bless her and Lola aren't very familiar with her so she's excited when she sees Lola she, she you know Pip wants to play so he wouldn't be good uh, he's another one I need to learn to be do this training with eventually once I master it with Penny so what we got to do is you walk a big circle with Lola and I have to work with Penny that's why I have to be sitting in the chair besides the fact that you know then you got to walk around with Lola and then you move a little closer and a little closer and while you're doing that I have to teach Penny not to react and when I say react I don't mean in an aggressive way I mean just like an excited playful way I have to teach her to have like no reaction at all but like I said it's a two-person job um you know and I haven't had the second person to do that with really because again like I said has to be somebody who is of sound mind or you know what I'm I'm not trying to be mean when I say that but it would not work with Josh um because we haven't been able to do it since I've learned the exercise because you know of things obviously um so yeah so I have to do that and I have to start with Lola and Penny and then I can do junior once Penny starts to be more calm and non-reactive I have to go with junior and I have to teach them how to communicate with each other <laughs> you know like uh, in a way that doesn't make junior afraid of Penny so yeah like because she isn't aggressive but she likes to play really aggressively and dart with her nose and he takes that as a threat and I have to help him understand that it isn't a threat and I also have to help her understand that she can't be doing that all the time with every dog she meets because she wants to play with <sighs> okay then. I they always do this under my chair I, I swear guys hey no, not under my chair. There is a backyard, you guys. <laughs> You're like, but yeah, you can't see us in the backyard. Um, so yeah, that's a whole thing. I, I really, that is one of my big priorities. And then I know my health should be in the top three. And it is, it, it was like, it's number three to be honest, because Number two is kind of my mental health. Um, there, cover up my swollen face. Uh, number two is like my mental health. I have a lot of things I need to work on right there, right now. Especially like with patients and reactives. I, I, how to teach myself to react. Um, I need to train myself how to react to other people. But... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then three is physical health which I am working on I know I haven't done a video in a couple days but I have been moving mostly um it's just for a couple days there I'll be honest I was wearing the same outfit and I, I just I don't know <sighs> I'm moving things around and I'm just uh and it's only a minute and it doesn't matter what outfit I'm wearing. I could do it in pajamas if I wore them. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's just actually filming it, getting the ring light, getting the camera, all that, getting the dogs in, not in the background, which that honestly does bug me, but sometimes I can't help it. I'm trying to see, there we go with the mental health. I'm trying to get to a point where it doesn't bug me to have a mess in the background or to have the dogs in the background of my workout videos or to have the light glaring through the window in my workout videos stuff like that like it makes my eyes twitch so it, it's some stuff me I'm working on there um, and then a lot of people were messaging me 
saying I was an inspiration and I felt a lot of pressure and I'm not saying don't do that I just things got really loud in my head there for a while and then I was like oh my god why are people DMing me which isn't bad but it it does overwhelm me and I'm not saying don't do it just if I don't respond for a week don't take it personally please um because sometimes I need to get my head in the game um like I do I love messages it's just sometimes responding to them I love reading and talk like communicating with people but I like that time delay I I feel so pressured when like in a real conversation <laughs> Like, I have to respond right away. And if I don't respond right away, I'm a bad person. And sometimes I really like that time delay. And the time to think about what I'm going to reply. And stuff like that. And I know that sounds really dumb. Unless you actually know what I'm talking about. And you experience it yourself. Which I know some of my friends do. Um. So, you know. And I know then there's... The normal people and they don't know what I'm talking about and they're like oh just do it like I'm trying <laughs> I, you know that's why I come back to YouTube every day well try to at least that's why I post videos that's why I, I you know like I'm pushing myself outside of my comfort zone slowly last night we went to dinner at a restaurant and I was very polite and talk to the waitress and you know like yeah we went in Josh's truck which is hard for me to let someone else drive so you know and I just want him to be able to enjoy driving as long as he can because I know that he probably won't be soon um I talk about that in my members only so <laughs> more but I don't want to harp on it in here. Uh, yeah, like I want him to enjoy the things in life that he can enjoy now before he can't enjoy them anymore. Anyways, um, a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine, who I don't talk to a lot, but this is more the mental health and I need to learn how to react to people. A friend of mine... I don't talk to a lot because he's a really busy person. He works in a home with people with dementia. And he said to me, I really have to focus more on savoring the moments and fixing the problem. Because there is no fix. And I have to savor the good moments. And that's something I'm going to have to work on. Because in my brain, I want to fix problems. <laughs> you know? So... It was just a blessing for him and me to have a conversation at that moment in time. So, um, it's just this random thing. We text each other every so often. Hey, you still alive? How's it going? You know? And I was like, hey, it's been a while. Maybe I should text him. See if he's still alive. <laughs> and, you know, he, he's a lot like me. He doesn't really have a lot of family. Um, he does have a husband you know um i don't know he lives in my hometown or not my hometown my home state he lives in the uber he well you know not the uber it's uber for me <laughs> if you don't know now you know no uber is um wisconsin slang and i believe michigan as well because okay there's two parts of michigan the uber and the normal but also like when you get higher up in wisconsin they call that the uber as well because it's real close to upper michigan um and with this their accent it's they kind of sound canadian you know we say dare we uber um you know like a lot of canadian slang happens up there oop there um so you know he he lives in well, I guess he lives closer to Minnesota, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, like he, he lives it, it kind of in the middle of the state, but I call it Uber because I'm from Milwaukee. Okay. Everything's Uber. 
and everybody's goobers. Anyways, um, if you're not from Milwaukee or Madison, you're just a goober. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, like there's a lot of, cause really honestly, like Madison and Milwaukee and sometimes Green Bay are really, you know, and then everything else is kind of like backwoods a little bit. I don't know if that's insulting. It's a lot more rural. Maybe that's the nicer way of putting it. it. It's living in upper Wisconsin is probably more in tone of living here where I am now. Um, so yeah, like I live in Texas almost. I mean, I, I, I could practically say I live in Texas. Um, it would be easier to explain like cause it's not very New Mexican here. We're very close to the Texas border and we are a lot of the people's mindsets and a lot of stuff here is a lot like Texas. So, you know, um, when I lived in Albuquerque, I liked the vibe in some parts a little bit better, but honestly, I could never live in Albuquerque now because things have kind of gotten weird. Albuquerque, but uh, a little violent. And like I said in another video, I think it was a members only video, I was talking about how I, I would love to move back to Milwaukee, but I really don't think I could handle living in a city again. So, you know, like I was a city girl my entire life. Never thought I could drive. Never thought, I was like public transport forever. <laughs> I couldn't do that now. Oh my God, how times have changed. Um. So, I, yeah, I don't think I could live in a big city. All the noise and all this and that and, like, people, ah, traffic, oh, I hate going to Amarillo because the traffic is just, ugh. so I usually go when there's not a lot of traffic. Like, well, I'll go on a Wednesday at 10 a.m. when everyone's in school and at work. There we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably have this looked at soon. Um, and I'm doing my blood work today. Finally. Yay. Um, sorry if that bothered anyone. So there's number three, working on my physical health as well as my mental health. So and maybe that sounds selfish because I'm like, the dogs are number one. And then I'm two and three. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I mean, of course I got other things that I care about, but those are my top three priorities because like they say, if you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the others. Um, it's just hard because I've, I'm, I am juggling a lot and I'm trying to look at it as a more positive experience. I know I tend to sound like I'm down a lot, but I mean, I'm not in that state of mind all the time. Like. I have a lot on my plate. So it does get very overwhelming. Being a caretaker is very overwhelming. I don't, never thought I would be mentally able to take care of myself. And now I'm taking care of other people and other things. I've kept Lola alive for nine years. I'm very proud of myself. I'm sorry if that sounds lofty. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself for keeping a dog alive for nine years. Um, it's, it's having animals has really taught me to be a more functional and responsible person because it's not about me anymore. Um, I have to wake up every day. I have to get up and feed them. I have to make sure they're okay. I have to make sure they have water in their dishes. You know, I have to take them to the vet. I mean, I don't have to. I could be a ne negligent owner, but that, ooh. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I, I guess it's kind of like how sometimes people are like, oh, having kids has made me a better person. I'm looking at my mosquito bites. Um, I have to put deodorant on them. I know that sounds weird, but it makes them stop itching. It has to be the, the stick. Um... I can't use spray and I can't use a roll-on. It has to be the stick. It makes them stop itching. I'm like, well, I'm going to go in the room in a minute and put deodorant on these. 
And then once they stop itching, they'll go down in about an hour. All bug bites, I swear. Everything makes me like... Um, but yeah, having dogs has made me a better person. And I'm glad I didn't have kids because that would be a disaster. At least with dogs, you know, like... It's not... I don't know. I don't want to say you don't have to take care of him as much, but you kind of don't, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, you know, you got to take care of him, but not quite on the level as you do with kids. And I, I admire mothers because I could never do it. I could never do it. Okay. <sighs> so, I mean, I could if I had to, like if I ever got custody of my nephew, okay, I would make it work. But luckily he's like 10 or no 11. So it's a little bit easier or maybe it's not. I don't know, teenagers, um, you know, and then, you know, I never imagined I would be taking care of my mother. I, I never even thought she'd be alive this long, to be honest. And I'm not saying that in a mean way. It's just she's been in really bad health for a really long time. So, not a really... I don't know. You know what I mean? It's been longer than I imagined. And like I also said, when she moved in with me almost three years ago, she had six months to live. So I, I've been taking care of her longer than I expected, which is a blessing. I'm not saying, whoa, it's a blessing. I know it's a blessing. It's not easy, but it's a blessing, you know, and it could be harder. It really could. So, you know, it's not that bad. It is stressful at times, especially when she doesn't have workers. And now that her workers don't come in the morning, it's a little more stressful. <laughs> I'm not a morning person. So, you know, it's nice when Josh is feeling Josh and he comes over and he makes her breakfast because she loves the way he makes her oatmeal. I don't know how he does it. I need the secret. <laughs> um, I, Like I said, this side is swollen. I'm going to have it looked at. That's why I do this. <laughs> then I look normal. Um, and... It, yeah, so, and now the newest challenge is learning how to navigate this thing with Josh and his health. So, and like I said, for, I was looking at it in the wrong perspective and now I'm, I think I have better glasses on, which is another thing I really need to do is get to Amarillo and get new glasses. <laughs> It's with his mom here. I feel like that might be a little bit easier now. Um, and I need to set up an appointment to see how Pip does at the daycare or the, the, the boarding facility. I need to do a test run to see if I can even utilize that. And, uh, you know, like with his mom here, then I don't have to worry about mom. Like if Josh and I go to Amarillo and we're going to stay an extra hour or two for me to get an eye exam. I know somebody will be here like in town. Even if it's not here at the house all the time. Somebody will be in town and mom can call and be like, hey, I, I could you feed me or whatever. You know what I mean? So it'll be nice to have, hopefully, it'll be nice to have an extra teammate so I'm hoping I really really hope um yeah so and you know like maybe someday I'll be even be able to like not have to do anything for a whole day you know like maybe Pip will like going to boarding <laughs> and Maybe he won't scream his head off the entire time, which I know they're not going to keep him if he does. You know, maybe he won't panic the entire time. Maybe he won't run away from the boarding facility and try to come home. These are all the things that are in my head. Maybe he'll like it. So that means, you know, maybe once a month or twice a month, send him there while we go out of town to do run errands and stay a little longer. Maybe eat dinner at a restaurant there. Um... 
go in stores. Yeah, I said that. Um, you know, maybe t send Pip and Penny to the boarding. She loves boarding. She does. P send Pip and Penny to boarding for the day. So I could just clean the entire house, you know, like a deep, 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 deep clean and not have to worry about switching the dogs and have all the doors and the windows open, which I can't do with Pip and Penny here because Pip tries to climb through the bedroom window if I open it up and he destroyed my screen. <laughs> he, when he's outside, he tries to climb into the bedroom and he destroyed my screen so I can't open it anymore and I need to fix the screen eventually. I'm not in a hurry. I just threw it away because, well, I can't have the window open while Pip's outside and I can't have the window open when Pip's inside. So, you know, um... So right now I just don't do it, but I would love to open up the windows and look at my black irises that are outside my bedroom window, which I don't get to look at anymore. I want to move them to the front of the house. I won't be able to see them from my, my room, but at least I'll be able to see them, you know, more often. Yeah, they're black irises. Yeah. I have black irises in, outside my bedroom window and one of my favorite things to do before Pip was to open the window let the sun come in and just look at them um, they came with the house I don't know maybe the original house owner put them there I have to ask her <laughs> the person who built the house is actually subscribed to my YouTube and I'm subscribed to hers um, that's so small world right so I'm going to go because this is going to be really long. It should just be a Friday vlog, I swear. Um, but no, this is going to be Saturday's questions. Sorry I got a little off track. I'm really talkative today because I'm in a good mood. So, and I just... These new glasses I have on life, not actual physical glasses, these life glasses I have, I... They're really making me feel hopeful and positive. And I really hope that it's, 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 it's going to work the way I'm envisioning it. Like the way they're making me see things. I needed, I needed to talk to my therapist yesterday. I needed to talk to my friend yesterday, you know, and it's really given me a new perspective on life and I really, really, really hope that I can do the work and the work works. And the work pays off. So I'm feeling really positive about things at the moment because I'm like, wow, I never thought about it that way. Huh. So, yeah. Savor the good moments while you can. Till next time. Since this is the last one for the week, stay humble, stay kind, and look out for those normal people.